Welcome back to another video and thank you very much for tuning in. In this video we are going to go through 4 ways of upgrading a FortiGate device. Upgrading a device can be done using a schedule, direct and immediate upgrade using the web UI, manual upgrade in offline mode, or via the command line interface. But before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our videos. Now let's dive into the demonstration. We strongly recommend taking necessary safety measures before proceeding to ensure a smooth and trouble-free update. Now that we have taken all necessary safety measures, we can start. Open a web browser window and log into your device. If there is a firmware upgrade available, you will notice it right away from the dashboard. As you see, there is a newer firmware available. But, can we upgrade the device right now? Many times this is not possible, especially in production environments. So we will schedule the upgrade for later during off hours. Go to System, and then Firmware and Registration. Select your device and click the Fabric Upgrade button. Choose the firmware you want to upgrade to, and click Next. Now, click on the Custom button. Select the date and time that suits your schedule and click Next. Verify that everything is as you desire and click Confirm. After you click Confirm, a configuration backup will be downloaded to your computer. Now let it sit and do its job. Remember to come back and verify that the device has been upgraded. This way of upgrading is similar to the previous one. Again, log into your device and navigate to System, Firmware, and Registration. This time, click on the Upgrade button. Select the firmware you need and click the Confirm and Backup Configuration button. The device will immediately start downloading the new firmware. It will automatically reboot after the installation is complete. Connect to the web interface and verify that everything has worked as intended. Have you ever attempted any of these upgrading methods? Please share in the comments below which one you found to be the simplest. Another way to obtain the firmware is by using the customer support portal, but you must be registered. Open a browser window and log into the portal. Select Support from the top menu and then click on the firmware download. Check if there is any upgrade path for your device. It is strongly recommended to use the upgrade path as you will avoid any potential crushes. So, select your device and then select the current firmware you are running and the firmware you want to upgrade to. Click Go, and you will see how many firmware files and in what order you will have to install. In our case, there is only one firmware we need to install. After you complete this step, go to Download tab and download the required files. The structure is simple. There is the major version of each firmware and the minor ones are within the root folder. Navigate to your desired version. Locate your device's firmware and click on the HTTPS to download it. Upon downloading, go back to your device and click on System, Firmware, and Registration as before. Now, right-click on your device and select Upgrade. Click on the File Upload button and locate the firmware you just downloaded. Hit Confirm and the upgrade process will start immediately. Remember, Log in again and check that everything is OK. Last thing for this demonstration is using the command line interface, or CLI for short, to upgrade the firmware. There are two requirements for this way to work. 1. Have a working SFTP server. 2. Have the firmware available offline. Remember, you can download the firmware from the customer support portal. We already have an SFTP server in place and the firmware downloaded. So, once again we need to connect to the device's web interface, or in this case you can log in with an SSH client like PuTTY. We will use the web interface for the CLI connection. After logging in, click this icon at the top right corner. A black command window will appear. Type this command. It will be pinned in the comments. The device will try and connect to the SFTP server. Press Yes to accept all the messages by the device and then the device will restart. 
Remember, log in again and verify that everything works smoothly. Did you also hit the subscribe button? If not, now is the time to subscribe. Your support will help this channel grow. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.